South African jazz is in a class of its own, made up of diverse influences that give life to its distinctive sound. The apartheid years had a great impact on the culture of jazz. It became a form of protest music in the townships. DJ producer and researcher Calvin Peters knows all about this unique jazz style. This is P4 Online, The Quiet Storm, and today we are speaking to Julie from The Vibe. Such wonderful history when we talk about South African jazz, Cape jazz. Tell us a little bit about this. Cape jazz and all that kind of music, Afro jazz, to really understand how this music has evolved, you need to understand how this country has evolved. I think because of the struggle, the oppression made a lot of the artists hard. They were hungry. They needed to get out. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. As people obviously try to use music as a vehicle, as a voice, to voice the oppression that we were going through in this country at the time. Because it, there was a part of it. it was there. And this music evolved where people were creating sub-genres from this music. And they were making jazz. They were using these grooves, these beats, and they were creating Cape Jazz. Cape Jazz then evolved as a sub-genre out of Afro Jazz. The pain of apartheid can never be erased, but it shaped the style and paved the way for a new generation of musicians. Mon Alexander is a pianist who is a beautiful person and he comes from a place called Marmory. This is a young guy who actually decided to, to delve into the Afro jazz and the Cape jazz music genre. Well, Ramon is actually a mentor of mine when I was much younger. He kind of took me under his wing. Um, so it's always great to play with Ramon. And he's a little bit older than what I am, so he has a bit more experience. He knows a bit more about the history of Cape jazz. Zeke Lagrange, incredible talent, beautiful sound, warm saxophone sound, talented musician. I think Zeke is one of the guys to look out for, and one of the guys I think that will probably continue uh, with this genre of jazz. They play together, that's a great thing. And you will find that sometimes Zeke and him are performing together, and these youngsters, or the, the sound of tomorrow, uh, taking it further. I um, obviously started, at, like most people, with classical piano. And when I was about in my mid-teens, I switched over to jazz. <laughs> jazz is synonymous to, to freedom and in individuality, so you can express yourself. Jazz has always been part of some resistance move, movement since its in inception in black America, for instance. For my forefathers, my South African, Cape Townian forefathers, it, it used to be a defiance against the, the status quo of the time. You know, it's like, you're not gonna label me uh, as colored. Uh, but today, we use jazz to define the self, the individual. So it's like, this is me. When I first started jazz, for me, it was just a passion. I just wanted to play sax, you know? But I didn't realize the rich history that Cape Town had, you know, growing up later and listening to these legends and then realizing that there's a story and a narrative behind the music which makes the music so powerful that the notes are, are great, but, but what informs the notes and the power of the music is really the story behind it. I had a chance to play with Yuma Sakela before. I've played with a lot of South African greats over the years as I grew up, and I realized that there was something more about their presence than just the music, man, and that it came from a lot of depth and struggle that they had to work through in their lives. I'm really grateful for those moments. <laughs> Cape Town can once again show the world the best it has to offer. I think we are fully accepted. Our, our artists are on the international level. Our production is world class. And as far as the world stage is concerned, I think uh, we are right up there with the rest of the world.